Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking briefly about data blocks. Uh, in Blender we work with data blocks all the time, and in fact they're fundamental to how Blender works because almost everything boils down to the fact it is a data block. So we'll introduce the most common data blocks we come across and just try to show some examples of how they work. Uh, let's get started then with the data block we're all probably familiar with. I'll just uh, make sure the screen, screencast displays is running. And that'll be the material data block. Let's go to the material button here and add a new material. And this creates a new material data block. We can call it what we want. Let's call it blue. And let's make this data block blue. Or the, the material blue rather. Now the first thing that happens um, is you'll find that if we go shift D and duplicate our object here and then we decide we want to make this guy a green color what well, we'd expect to go to the, uh, the, the color swatch here and change it to green but well both materials are changing well this isn't actually the case what's happened is that this material data block is being shared between these two objects now this is clear because we have a little 2 here and this indicates the number of users of the data block. So indeed if we press shift D and duplicate our cube once again we can see that the number goes up to 3 and that means we've got 3 objects sharing this data block. So in order to change the color of just one of these cubes we need to make this what they call a single user. There are two ways to do that you can press uh, U and choose to make the materials and textures a single user or if I control Z just out of that you can also press the 3 here and that will make it single user as well so we can change this and we'll call it uh, green <laughs> grebe try again green and then we can change this to a green color and you notice that all these are now separate Another user of data blocks would um, of uh, of of yeah of data blocks are uh, texture data blocks here. So if we go to the texture buttons, add a new texture, we'll say image or movie. I'm going to open up some texture here. I'm not sure what? Let's try this grass one. And I'm going to leave all the settings are the same. What well, I've got, um, by the way, I've got. GLSL. So, um, I need GLSL here so we can see the uh, the texture and then I'll go Alt Z into uh, textured mode and you can see that we've got the grass appearing on this um, cube. Now shift D and duplicate the cube once again what we'll notice is that the texture still only has one user. This is because the material is being shared between the two object, of objects and there's only one texture that this material is using. So if we press the 2 to make this one a single user what we'll notice is in the texture buttons that now the texture data block has uh, two users and that's because there's two separate materials using the uh, <laughs> two separate t two materials which are using this texture data block. Another user of data blocks is mesh data. Now we can see the object data buttons here and what we'll find is if we go shift A and I'll add in a, a UV sphere. If we select now a cube we've got a list of data blocks that we can choose to have uh, our mesh data associated with. So if I was to choose the sphere data block here you can see that now both objects um, are have the same mesh data. This means that we can go to edit mode say and we are enter edit mode indeed on both of the objects and we can then edit them both, of the, both of them at the same time. This means that if we go to our material uh, buttons here we can choose a material data block let's, call, let's choose the blue one let's make it single user and let's make it um, I don't know pink something something awful now we'll see that there's only one user of this data block so there's no way to choose which which of these objects is uh, using this material. Well in fact there is we can change the association where the material is being associated to. We'll see this data here it's actually being um, referenced by the by the object data but we can change this and make it be associated or linked to the object. 
And because these are separate objects, they're just sharing object data, we can then add a, uh, we can choose one of our um, existing material blocks or we can um, change it to something else. And indeed, we can then still enter edit mode and edit our objects, um, but, they're, but, they're, but they are, but they are, the materials are separate. Rotating these in uh, object mode, we can do that also because the objects are separate, they're just sharing mesh data, and you can see again how that is working. Another way to get objects to share their data would be to use the Alt D key. And this links the object data, the uh, the, the materials, and uh, and stuff like that. So if we just make this one single user, again, these two are using the same data block because their mesh data is linked. The U key can be used again to make the object data, uh, materials, and everything a single user. So we can press that, and then you can see entering edit mode on this guy, uh, how that's working. So objects uh, can have more than one user, but these are generally shared between scenes. So if I was to add a new scene here, and we'll go link objects, we'll see that we're in scene 001 now, and that when I select this object, it has a two by it. And this means that when I, um, ro let's, uh, if I rotate this guy so it's facing us like this, when I go back to our original scene, the uh, the object is the same because we're uh, manipulating the object and that's linked between the scenes. We can make the object single user and then if I rotate this guy back again and switch back to scene 001 it's still facing us however if we were to uh, make some um, say well, make some extrusions and change this object about a little bit in an obvious way because the data is still the object data is being shared between uh, the objects and we go back to our original scene and indeed the um, the object has changed obviously its rotation is different but you can see how that's working another user of uh, data blocks would be the uh, say the image editor so we can go and open an image editor we can choose our grass tile image here and this is actually using the same data block as the um, our, as, as our object here the 3d view it can be used for data blocks so if we're going to add a background image add image and we'll use that data block the uh, grass tile you'll see now the grass tile has two data blocks and what I want to demonstrate here is that we have the data block name so we can just change this to grass say and that won't actually change anything however the source of the data block which is just below it if we were to open a different source for our data block I don't know what this one we'll see that not only does the image change in the image editor but also as the background image changes in the 3D view this is because we've changed the source of the data block there's a way to link uh, various uh, properties of objects to one another and that's select one and then select the other. We can use the control L key and choose to link things like the materials and animation data, object data here as you can see. So if we were to link the materials, that links the materials from the active object to the selected ones. So you could select uh, many objects, select the last one, control L and link the materials just like that and then we'll see in the materials buttons how we have five users of this data block. So that was all I wanted to cover really. I hope this gives you a little introduction to how data blocks work. The same thing can be said for things like the lamp data um, and stuff like that. If you want to you can link these uh, data together so link the object data and then this way if you change the energy up to something really extreme you'll see that the lamp data in the other one changes as well to reflect that okay that's all i hope you have some fun with it play around see how it works happy blending and see you next time